Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we are going to install the Tamiya trailer light set onto the Tamiya fuel tank trailer. Now, I'm excited about this because I absolutely love the look of this trailer, and I'm not finished. I mean, there's a lot of pieces that are still, still have to be installed, but if you are planning on installing the light kit at the same time that you're building a fuel tank trailer, you've where I'm at now is where you need to be to install those lights because the very next step uh, with this kit is to install the end cap on the back here. But you need to be able to get inside the trailer in order to put on the semi trailer light kit. So what I'm going to do here is show you the process of what I did building this trailer to get it ready for this step before I can continue on building and finishing the trailer. Because as you can see, and I think I have it here, yes, this was the bumper uh, with all the lights that I believe I did on step one or two. Uh, and I didn't completely fix these down as it said because I knew I was going to be installing the lights. So they were they're on there temporarily. It also had said to actually attach the bumper so that it's affixed. But because I'm going to put the lights on, I didn't want to do that because I need to be able to get to the back side of here uh, to put the lights in. So I am at that stage where I need to actually install the lights. So I'm going to show you that entire process uh, of, inst of installing the lights. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so there is the semi-trailer light set all unboxed and ready to go. Uh, first, you've got the instruction manual, which is showing you that this cable has to be fed in through this plastic piece right here, which you're gonna use a screwdriver to open it up and then feed the lights through that plastic so it's going to provide a nice sort of tight finish it's it'll it'll be basically be sealed um, and then going into the lights themselves and you can see here that there's um, a plastic bushing that they're talking about which you feed up which is obviously going to protect the wires um, and that's that piece right there which i'll feed up from the bottom of the trailer so here's your cable and this is what's going to plug into your semi-trailer. And then there are all of the lights on the other end of that same cable, which I'm obviously going to be installing into that bumper. Uh, and then that part right here, you're going to plug into this part, which is going to be attached to the semi-truck. And then that cable feeds to this white one, which is going to plug into your MFC unit for all your lights and sound. So kind of, a, again, it's sort of a two-step process. This is going on the truck, so I'm not gonna to be touching that right now because this is a trailer build, but this cable is what we're gonna do right now and install it onto that and put it through the fuel tank trailer. Okay, so here is step seven, uh, which you can see is uh, building the bumper uh, putting on the mud flaps, the lights, etc. There is the finished uh, bumper all ready to go. Uh, and you can see that it says to install it on the trailer. Now, because I'm going to need to get into the back side of this, because you can see that the lights are going to fit under these two plastic parts right here, I am not, um, I have not installed it on the trailer. I'm waiting. Um, so I continued on building the trailer and, and you know, there's all the suspension, tires, etc. Well, then once you've got to this part where you install the tank on the frame, you then get to the point where you're going to put the end caps on the trailer. Now, if you're going to install the light set, you need to be able to, and you can sort of see it right, right here, you need to be able to feed the lights up and into that hole in the tank. So I don't want to put that on yet because I need to get into there. And I'm not sure why. They show it on the um, instruction manual here in step 19. There's your lights. It's showing you the placement and everything else. But by, your, by the time you're on step 19, the trailer's already built. 
and, and including all the end caps and I need to get in there much sooner. So we're gonna go back to the actual step 19 or 16 where you're putting on the end caps and this is where we're going to install the lights. Okay, so for step one, we need to feed that cable into this piece so that we can get all the wires through the front part of the semi. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, obviously we've got to make this hole bigger. So I'm gonna punch a hole through it. Now that's gonna take a bit of uh, elbow grease just to put, puncture that hole. But now, you know, you've got a big enough hole to be able to feed stuff through. So I'm just gonna move that up and down. Spin it, just slip that off right now. So that's what you're gonna be left with. And so now all of these lights and the cable are gonna need to go in through there. So this will take a bit of time, I think, because I'm gonna end up having to take this one by one because the bulbs are your biggest pieces and once they're through right um, you can grab the next bulb and fit that through so that's two through so I'll just make sure that that goes through nice so I can pull it out the other end yep so now we'll take the next one feed that through And then we'll take the next one and feed that through as well. So now all of the bulbs are on the other side of that plastic piece. We're gonna pull them all the way through until you get to here. And now push the whole thing through. And then just pull the whole cable. So that obviously is going to be the length, you know, fit on the end of the uh, tanker trailer right here. That's the piece. And you can see it's going to be a nice, clean finish. But all of the cables, we're now going to feed all the way to the back side of the trailer and then install those lights onto the bumper. Remember, you can't just feed this through the trailer because you've got to make sure that you've got your end cap first because all of these cables still have to feed through this before you can proceed. Even though we're still waiting to put the end caps on, all of these wires are gonna have to be fed through here first. And then will end up feeding all of that through because obviously here this piece once we're once it's in place and I'm not going to put it on quite yet you're going to snap it in place and then it'll be a nice firm um, uh, you know it'll be firmly on there but I'm not going to do it right yet um, but we know we've got to have that through because you're not going to be able to feed the other end through the hole if you forget to put the wires through the end cap first. So do that first, then we'll move on to feeding this wire through the trailer. So I'm just gonna pull this a bit more because I think I'm gonna need a lot more, more length. Um, and now we're going to fit this all the way through the front um, and slide it down. So as you can see, we've got the cable all the way through the frame, but of course now I've got to be able to um, put this down this hole. And if you remember, there was the black piece right here, which was, uh, what did they call it? It was a just, well, it's a, plast it's a plastic bushing. So I stick this on the other side and push it through. 
you can see it just pop, pops into place. Um, it just protects the cable so it's not getting ripped on the aluminum uh, frame. And now all of these uh, light bulbs, we're now going to again feed them through the hole. and then the wire. So now we have all of our lights ready to go. So the next step will be installing them on the bumper. So here we are at step two now, and you can see that we're now putting in the bulbs into the correct placements on the lights. So you can see here the left blinker is a red and brown cable, and the right blinker is orange and yellow. So if we go back to this, there's your color coding. So you've got your, uh, what is it? Orange and yellow was for the right blinker. And then red and brown was for the left blinker. And then this one, which is to get, you know, they, they're together. Um, they, those are your brake lights. So we'll go ahead and install those now. Okay, so we're gonna do this systematically. So I'm gonna work on the left side of the rig first. So if we, if you look at this, the left blinker is a red and brown cable, and then you've got your brake light. So let's look at the red and brown. Red and brown which is this one here so that is your blinker so we know that that's going to go in the far side and all it does is just sit there it 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 pushes in quite nice it's it's nice and firm you just take that bulb and then put it put it in and it's it's already nice and tight then you've got your brake light now the brake light you can see is sort of connected um, to the other side. It's kind of got its own loop. So we're just gonna take one of them. So I'll grab this side. Uh, let's see, let's take this side right here. And we're going to stick that one in there. And again, it just sits there. But what we're gonna do is now this is going to attach to this. So we're just gonna bend these down, okay? Because when this sits on top of that, it's actually going to secure it, and you can see that the wires are coming out at the bottom. So I just need to secure that down, which we'll do just like that, and we're going to screw it in. Make sure that that's the cables are out of the way. Make sure that's a nice fit. Yeah, and we'll just screw it in. Okay, so now that is screwed in, you can see that the uh, cable comes out from underneath and that is finished. So then when we move on to the other side, which I'm now going to unscrew the part that I put in earlier, just didn't want to lose any of the pieces. And we're gonna take orange and yellow one over there and then as you can see, the other side of the brake lights are now going to fit into there. And again, we're gonna to need to bend this down 
and we're going to need to bend this down as well. It's just so that they are out of the way. And then this is going to fit on top of there. And then we're going to screw it in. So they're nice and tight, but I mean, there's your backside of the wiring and then there's your front. So obviously this is all going to come together. We'll put this all together once we feed this all back up into the trailer. And then it'll, we'll make it nice and clean. So as you can see, we've got all of the cables in place and ready to go. This now is gonna to need to be installed onto the back. Now, obviously you can see there's all the cables and wires still hanging out, but what you can do is just pull this back up and feed it through. The only thing is just make sure you don't pinch these. So make sure that they're underneath the frame and then you can attach it. And then this will just pull it out and up as much as possible to get them out of the way. And then what you're gonna find is once that, once that is on and attached, you're gonna see below that there's wires still hanging around. So what I'll do is once this is actually firmly in place, I'll then go underneath and just clean it up and move wires out of the way just so that they're not on show as much. Um, and that shouldn't take too much effort to do. So as a whole, the installation of the lights are complete. So now I can continue on with the build um, of the trailer. So this is just gonna look so sweet when it's finished. I'm, I'm loving this. So there you have it. There is the finished light installation on the Tamiya fuel tank trailer. So, I mean, it's, it's on there. You can sort of see the wires underneath uh, by the mud, mud flaps. I just think on this, this is gonna look really, really nice with the lights. So the end cap I've put on, I haven't taken the plastic off because there's still a few things I need to do to the back end before I wanna pull that off. Um, and then you've got the rubber boot on the front as I was talking about. And of course the difference there is that um, this piece here is what plugs into the semi uh, in order for those lights to work off of the MFC unit and the batteries. Uh, and then of course it's all wired in. So that, that is it for, for now. I, uh, that is just awesome. I, I love the look of this. And, uh, you know, if the light installation was helpful for you, do let me know by liking this video and be sure to subscribe because there's more coming. Uh, I do have a video on how to install the motorized support legs in another one and there will be a build video of this trailer coming soon uh, but now that the lights are on i can go ahead and finish uh, finish the build so other than that we will see you in another video